Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Smart the Messenger, we're back with another video. This one, people have been asking me so much to make this video about them struggling with their sexual desires. In this video, to talk about how to overcome. I made multiple videos. I made like over five videos, but this is going to be the ultimate complete guide, step by step, what to do. And before I start this video, I want to tell you guys, the minute you're able to destroy the spirit of lust, the minute you're able to not be a slave to it, that's when God's going to really start moving in your life. Not to say that God won't move in your life when you're still battling it, but once he starts, once he destroy that demon, once he destroy those strongholds, God's going to move at a faster pace. Okay, God's going to move at a faster pace. That's why this video is very, very important. The devil does not want you to see this video. So I need everyone to share this video so it hits the algorithm so everyone can watch this video. A lot of us, but the minute I destroyed my porn addiction, the minute I destroyed all these, you know, sexual desires, right? That's when God started to move. If I was still doing that, I want to be able to make this video. So I'm able to, and the Bible even says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me to set the captives free. Isaiah um, chapter 60, somewhere right here. So we need to spread this video out on the algorithms. There's so many brothers and sisters who struggle. And I'm going to share you guys my experience, how I was able to defeat it. And in one of my videos, I talked about how uh, you'll destroy less forever. And truth be told, there's always going to be battles and there's going to be times where you lose and there's going to be times where you win. But after you watch this video and you apply it to your life, there's, you're going to be wanting more. Okay, you're going to be wanting more of the battles. Okay, so let's get Let's go. Number one is surrender your life to Christ. The minute I did that. Now, see, this is the, that's why I put this number one, because this is the hardest thing to do out of all this. All this I'm going to go over is hard. But number one, surrendering your life to Christ, because that requires you giving up this world. And that's where a lot of people don't, aren't ready to do that. They're not ready to give up their celebrities or idols in their hearts. They're not ready to, they're not get ready to get, put the blunt down. They're not ready to, they're not ready to walk in the spirit. So they won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. And because of that, they're going to struggle. Okay. They're going to struggle their life um, with, you know, their sexual sins or sexual desires. So that's number one, guys. You got to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Okay. You need him as your head, whether you're married or not, you need to have Christ in your life without him. Because you got to understand, he was a man without sin. So once you have that spirit of Christ in you, it's going to be easy. It's going to be a cakewalk. Now, you know, of course, you're not, we're not going to be, we're not going to be like sinless because the Bible says that the man says he's without sin. He is a liar and the truth is not in him. But once you have the spirit of Christ in you, it's literally a cakewalk. Like when that, when that demon tries to come in to sneak in, you knock it out. You a warrior. You got the, you got the full armor of God. Okay. Let's get, let's go. Number two is obedience. Okay. And uh, I was going to put faith. I just want to put that verse. Okay, faith is that works is dead. Your obedience is how you become more stronger too. Okay, your obedience in Christ, your obedience to God is how you become a lot more stronger. And it's just think about it, guys, like a gym, right? You're at a gym and you're training. And as you're training, let's say you do like bodybuilding, right? The more you go to the gym, the more stronger you're going to become, right? So the more you surrender your life to Christ, the more you be obedient. Don't you, don't you think it's not the same thing with spiritual stuff, with spiritual strength? You're going to become more stronger to fight any addictions, okay? Any addiction. So always understand that through your obedience is how you become stronger and more wiser, obtain more knowledge and more understanding. So everyone also should be asking God for wisdom, okay? Wisdom, 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 wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and get understanding, okay? Number three is guard your eyes and rebuke all demonic thoughts, okay? Remember I, I made my video... Uh, I have, guys, I have plenty of videos on lust. So if you guys want to check that out, go for it. But guard your eyes. I'm going to talk about this real quick because everything is a seed. All right. Everything is a seed. That's why, guys, porn is free. I'm going to just say, I'm gonna, usually I say websites, but I'm going to just say porn. Okay. There's a reason why it is free because the devil wants to corrupt your mind, corrupt your family, corrupt the, the whole world through, through, not just through porn, of course, but that's one of the main things. Okay. You got to guard your eyes. Even the Bible says, David says, I will not set my eyes upon a wicked thing. Uh, a fraud, a heart shall depart from me. I'll leave a verse right here because I don't say that verse wrong. But that's not just also from just the websites. It's also too from you know you out being out in public. Okay, if you if you're staring at a woman, now there, there's nothing wrong with desiring a woman. Like you see a beautiful woman, there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is when you're lusting uh, upon her with your heart and like, damn, I want to smash. You know, you start to get, entertain those thoughts. Okay, that's when that seed gets planted, and the more you keep watering that seed. That, that's, that's, that seed's going to become a tree. Now you're back to having that porn addiction. Now you're back to going back to square one. So guard your eyes, okay? Don't be so quick to just, like I said, there's nothing wrong with, with admiring a woman for her beauty. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not a sin. But the problem is when you're when you're lusting upon her, when you're trying to get those sexual thoughts creeping in, then you then you wonder why the next, when you're about to go to sleep, you get those urges. It's, it's a seed. It's a seed that you planted in your mind. Okay, it's a seed. Okay, and rebuke all demonic thoughts. I'm going to talk about demonic strongholds next one. Okay, but demonic strongholds also too, guys. Let's go to number four. Okay, number acknowledge 
the demonic strongholds and demons, okay? You gotta understand, well, the minute you understand that that lust that you're battling with, um, the porn addiction, the uh, masturbation addiction, all that, right? The minute you understand that is when you when you know that it's a demon, okay? It's a demonic stronghold that's giving you those thoughts and demons are planting seeds in your mind through those demonic strongholds that you open through watching porn. Like I said, there's a reason why porn is free, okay? The devil is all planned, it's all an agenda. Okay, so, and the more you give in to porn, the more you give in, give in to your sexual desires, the stronger that demonic stronghold comes in. Even the Bible talks about when a man becomes set free from the spirits, uh, from the demons, and he goes back to his old ways, seven spirits that are worse than before come and enter in that temple, and they're worse than the first the first day that when they were. Okay, so always understand the reason why you're giving over to the websites, you're giving over to uh, masturbation. The reason why, guys, is because it's a demonic stronghold. That's because I remember before, right before God delivered me, right, and like God already gave me the wisdom and knowledge. I don't have to be doing this anymore. Like, what what benefit is there, is there doing that? There's no benefit. Like, I'm actually cucking myself. I'm actually making myself a simp. That's why most men today, guys, are simps. They're effeminate. They, not just from, from porn. There's a lot of issues too. But one of the main things is, is through porn. Okay, I remember I was in, in my bed, right. And I was just like, I know I didn't have to, I didn't, I didn't have any urges to do no more, but it's a stronghold, you know, like, oh, like I can't sleep at night unless I do it. Like that was my mindset back then. That was a stronghold. Okay. We must cast down all strongholds. I'll leave a verse right here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. Okay. We have to acknowledge that the reason why we have this addiction is through demonic spirits and it's through demonic strongholds. The minute you acknowledge that, the minute you're going to win the win the war, guys. Okay. A lot of people, when they have these addictions, they don't even know what demonic strongholds are. They don't even know what demons are, unclean spirits are. They have no idea. So the minute you gain that wisdom, that level of understanding, you're going to know, okay, what I got to do to fight. I got to put on the forearm of God. Okay. Number five is have a plan. Okay. So, uh, have a plan, semen retention and no fat. Okay, I have like over 100 videos on semen retention. If you go on my page, if you click on the playlist, I have like nothing but semen retention. I have like over almost 100 videos on semen retention, no fat. So if you guys don't know about that, go check it out. <clears throat> you want to have a plan, okay? My plan, when God delivered me, I said, you know, I'm going to be on semen retention for a year. And I completed that, okay? And also the Bible even says that uh, through through a uh, council, plans are established. This video is counsel to you guys. That's why I told you guys, it's, it's good to have a mentor or to have like a teacher in your life, someone who could, could inform you, has been through stuff in life so they can help you, iron sharpens iron. This video is counsel, okay? Through, through this video, through this counsel, it's gonna give you wisdom, give you knowledge to feed you. The, the, the lips of the righteous feed many. I'm feeding you right now, okay? So I want you guys to, to apply everything I'm going on in this video into your life because I guarantee you it's gonna help you. Every man that's not married, every man that's not married who's watching, I don't care if you're two years old. Or, <laughs> I don't care if you're like a 10 years old or if it's 50 year old, okay? You gotta hop on C merge touches. C merge touches is pretty much celibacy. It's no porn, no webs, uh, no fapping, no, uh, no sex, okay? Interior, you're married, okay? Now, if you're married, then you should hop on a nofap because there are a lot of married men and women who do stro so struggle with porn and you got to hop on nofap. You got to rebuke all these websites because I'm telling you guys, you're never going to reach what God has created you to be become with plaguing yourself with with that, with the porn and stuff like that. Okay. So always have a plan. You know, I'm going to get on steam retention for one year. I'm going to get on steam retention until God gives me a wife, until God gives me a husband. I'm, I'm going to do that. You got to have a plan. Okay. Always understand that. Number six is stay active, stay busy. No idle mind or slothfulness, okay? Even, the, uh, and also, well, I'll leave it in the next one. So, okay, stay active, okay? Get, get a gym membership. Uh, find a new hobby. Find something you love to do. Play basketball. Go outside. Get some vitamin D for an hour, you know? Vitamin D from the sun, okay? There's many things you could do. Um, there's many things you could do, guys. Whatever hobby, I mean, everyone's different. Some people like to, like, some people like to draw, like to do art. Some people like to make music, okay? So, you want to stay busy, stay active, okay? When, you, when you're, when you're, Focus on that. You're not focused on giving into your sexual desires. You're not focused on it because you're just focused on your craft. So it makes you, there's a saying too that an idle mind is a devil play, is a devil's playground. Now that's not in the Bible, but I could definitely link that to my life when I was idle, when I was just playing video games all day, being slothful. Okay, slothfulness. When I was doing this, this kid, this this idle mind came in. Okay, an idle mind came in. So always say busy, stay active. Have a plan. Meet up with some friends, some like-minded brothers and sisters in Christ. If you have, uh, if you have some, it's kind of rare to have that these days. But you know, you want to have like-minded people on your path. That's okay. So number seven is walk in the spirit, so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, and put on the full armor of Yah. So this also links to being obedient. Obedience. What the heck am I? All right, there you go. All right. So being obedient. Okay, walk in the spirit, having the spirit of Christ in you. 
so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. The Bible says that the flesh, the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit lusts against the flesh. So what does that mean? That means that the more you feed into your flesh, your flesh is going to wage war against your spirit. And the more you feed your spirit is going to wage war against your flesh. So the more you practice spirituality, uh, building up the Holy Spirit in you, okay, it's going to be easier to walk in the spirit so you won't give in to your sexual desires. So you won't give in to this. Okay, so always understand that, man, walking in the spirit. If you keep giving into those urges, guys, because you keep giving into your flesh, and now your flesh in the spiritual realm, the eyes that you can't see, is fighting, is raging war against your spirit. Always understand that, guys. So, number eight. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I forgot to say, okay. And put on the full armor, yeah, okay. Put on the full armor of the Most High God of Israel. Woo, okay. We battle against side of flesh and blood, but against principalities. Okay, let me tell you guys something real quick. When you, when you destroy that demon, when you destroy those strongholds, what Satan's going to do, remember I said Satan doesn't want, doesn't want you to watch this video, okay? What he's going to do, he's going to give you wet drinks, okay? The minute you get delivered, the minute or a minute God is delivering you from something, he's going to give you wet dreams. What is wet dreams? You having uh, intercourse in your dreams through a succubus or through an incubus, demons, okay? That's what it is. You, have, you notice how when the minute you give up the websites, you give up your sexual urges, right? That's when you start to have sexual dreams. That is Satan trying to plant seeds in your mind to get you to do it again. I told you I'm going in on this video. I told y'all, y'all smash the like button. Y'all share this on all social media platforms, man. And y'all haven't already subscribed to the channel. Everyone needs to see this video, bro. If you're a child of God, share this video because I'm a child of God. We must iron sharpens iron. We must have love for the brother and the sister. Everyone needs to see this video, bro. Okay, so always understand that you gotta have the form of God. When you're getting those wet dreams at night, when those demons are, you know, when those demons are trying to plant seeds in you because he sees that, I just step on. I think I just step on glass, bro. That must be. What the heck? I just step on glass, bro. I rebuke. I rebuke you, say it. I rebuke you, say it. All right. When the enemy sees, okay, you being set free, you best believe it, bro. He's gonna try to put put things in your mind to to get you to go back. Rebuke those thoughts, okay? So walk in the spirit and and make sure you have the full armor of God. Number eight is to have a prayer life and fasting. Okay. The Bible says that pray without kissing. Why does the Bible say to pray without kissing? Because when you're praying nonstop, you don't have time to give into your urges. Okay, so ask yourself when you're giving into yourself to your urges, how often were you praying that day? Okay, so when you want to, you want to be praying nonstop, you want to be praying nonstop, pray without kissing, so you won't be giving it over to temptations. Even the Bible says that God doesn't tempt us. So if God's not tempting us, it must mean that's the devil tempting you. Okay, so always understand in fasting too. The, uh, I recommend everyone read Isaiah chapter 58, KJV. I can't leave it on the screen because it's a long verse. I think it's like verse 3 to 10 or something like that. Uh, but it pretty much talks about the purpose of fasting. Okay, it's a break free from the cords of wickedness. That's the purpose of fasting. All right, so so your website, your sexual desires, all that, it's a break that free. Your lustful, the demonic sexual desires, to break that free. So always understand that fasting is key. Uh, I have multiple videos on fasting if you guys want to check that out too. All right, number nine is the last one is to suffer. Suffer in the flesh, okay? The Bible, I'll leave a verse right here. It says that he that has suffered in the flesh has keys from sin. So he will live his life not in the will of man, but in the will of God. I'll leave that verse right here. So you got to expect, guys, when, you, when you're when you willing to lose everything to follow Christ, when you surrender your life to Christ, because that's what happens. When you give your life to Christ, the world is going to hate you. Okay? People are going to cast stones at you just like they did at Christ. The world is going to hate you. You're going to lose all your friends, most of them. You're going to lose most of them. And that's why many people are not willing to, they're not ready to, first one, guys, they ain't ready to do that. They ain't ready to give up their friends. They're not ready to lose your family members too. You know, even family is going to turn on you. Okay, the Bible says that man's enemies will be in his own household. Okay. So the minute you understand that when you surrender your life to Christ and you suffer in the flesh, he who has suffered in the flesh has keys from sin. So he will live his life in the will of God. I'll leave the verse right here. It's a long verse. And they're, they're going to they're gonna mock you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to slander you. They're going to gossip. They're going to, you know, just cast stones because that's what demons do. Okay. They're going to slander. All right. So um, quick summary. Like I said, you guys, if you haven't already made this far, make sure you all like this video. All right. How to overcome your strong sexual desires. Number one is surrender your life to Christ. Number two is obedience. Number three is guard your eyes. Rebuke all demonic thoughts. Number four is acknowledge the demonic strongholds slash demons. Okay, number five is have a plan. Seamer retention and no fat. Like I said, guys, I have a video. I have tons of, tons of videos on seamer retention. It's on my playlist if you go on my page. Number six is stay active, busy, no idle mind or slothfulness. Number seven is walk in the spirit, put on the full armor of Yah. Uh, number eight is prayer life, fasting. And number nine is suffering the flesh. 
If you guys haven't already, check out this end screen right here. It's another video on, on how to overcome lust. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Oh, yeah, if you guys wish to support me, my links are down in the description below. All right, peace.